I should. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Okay. So, so here we have our zeros, negative 1, 4, and 3i. So what I'm going to do, Christian, I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker because I think you guys got a good idea of how to do it from uh, how to find the zeros when we're just given real numbers. But now we notice we have an imaginary number. So when we have an imaginary number, we have to apply the co complex conjugate theorem. So therefore, our zeros also have to now, now include negative 3i. All right? So now, the next step I do is, remember, they said these are all zeros. That means x equals all these values. So to say x equals negative 1, x equals 4, x equals 3i, x equals negative 3i. Right? Then I set them all equal to 0. So I could say, so. So therefore, I can say x plus 1 equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0, x minus 3i equals 0, and x plus 3i equals 0. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you really don't need to do all this work, especially this next step, because I think you guys can understand now if you say, oh, x minus 1, then I can just simply write that my factor is going to be x plus 1, right? So you guys don't need to do this, but I'm doing it so at least you guys can have an idea and understand where I'm getting that from. Um, so now, and also actually it does kind of help though when you have a 0, which we'll get into, which are going to be fractions. That's going to be a little bit more difficult where it's helpful now to actually solve it. So what I'll get into now is we now know our factors are going to be x plus 1 times x minus 4 times x minus 3i times x plus 3i. Do you guys want me to do, you need me to go through the multiplication or can I kind of go through it quicker? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the multiplication into two different ones. I'll multiply these two first and then these two. All right? So the best way for me to organize multiplication is I like to just use the box. You guys can use FOIL, but I've seen way too many students get way too many points marked down because they haven't messed up on the multiplication, but they got unorganized and they made a mistake. So I like to use these boxes. And again, when multiplying binomials with boxes, okay. Okay, so you just do one, you know, two binomials for one, two binomials for the other. Therefore, I get x squared minus 4x plus x minus 4. Here, I get x squared minus 3xi plus 3xi. Then here, I get negative 9i squared. But please remember, negative i, i, remember i squared is equal to negative 1, right? So let's do this. Negative 1 times i squared. Remember, i squared equals negative 1. So that's going to equal positive 9. So this answer is actually positive 9. So I'm going to erase that, OK? So what we notice is well, let's combine like terms. These terms combine to give us negative 3. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 4. And over here, I'm just going to have these two terms are like terms, and they cancel out, or they add up to 0. So if I have x squared plus 9. So now I have a trinomial times a binomial. So yeah, how are you going to multiply a trinomial times a binomial? Same way we did it the other way. Break this up into twos. Break these up into threes. x squared plus 9. And then on this one, we have x squared minus 3x minus 4. Because right? now we have to multiply this times this to finalize it, right? So I just create another one. x squared times x squared is x to the 4. x squared times 9 is 9x squared. x squared times negative 3x is negative 3x cubed. Three, negative 3x times 9x is a negative 27x. x squared times negative 4 is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 9 is a negative 36. So the only terms I can combine are a negative 4x squared and a 9x squared, which is going to give me a 5x squared, right? 
So now we just write our final answer, which is x to the fourth, then minus 3x cubed. This becomes positive 5x squared minus 27x minus 36. So do you guys see how the, the complex numbers are going to add a little bit of uh, rigor to the problem? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> the process, though, is going to be exactly the same. 